Here are your Court News Ohio top stories in five minutes. Did a special education teacher convicted of assaulting one of her students miss a deadline to stop from being fired? That was the question argued before the Ohio Supreme Court on March 8th in Dayton Public Schools versus Georgia Cox. Cox, a teacher at Meadowdale High School in Dayton, told the Supreme Court justices that she met the deadline requirement for notifying the school board that she was appealing an arbitrator's ruling that found the board had good cause to fire her. She contended the law required the notice be mailed within three months, while the school board argued the law requires the notice be received within three months in order for the case to move forward. The case came to the Supreme Court after the school board appealed a second district court of appeals decision siding with Cox's argument. Look for a decision in this case on the Supreme Court's website at sc.ohio.gov. When a teen ends up in court for theft, trespassing, or other misdemeanor offenses, he or she usually ends up before a judge or magistrate. In Stark County, teens help other teens in a court program that's marking its 20th anniversary. Teen court lets high school students become prosecutors, defense attorneys, bailiffs, and jury members to their peers. Adult hearing officers act as judges and help facilitate the court sessions that are held in Canton, Massillon, Alliance, and Louisville three times a week. Grace Warren is a junior at Glen Oak High School and started participating in teen court when she was 14 years old. I absolutely love it. I look forward to it every single week. Around 40 students joined Warren at Stark County Family Court for a Thursday session of teen court, and all students from nine county schools volunteer four hours a week for 14-week sessions. We don't do anything bad to them. We're just there to help them. But it's, it's a unique feeling because you want to create ways that personally benefit them and make them a better person. The brainchild of Stark County Common Pleas Court Judge Michael Howard and Chief Probation Officer Joyce Salapak, more than 3,000 students have participated in teen court since its inception in 1995, where it grew from seven teens the first year up to 250 students this year. I tell them that this program um, was designed to help teens, not sit in judgment of them. The court's intake department determines that the teen defendants can participate in teen court. They first must say they are guilty of the crime. The teen court participants never find the defendants guilty or innocent. Once approved for the program, the teen defendants receive a 45-minute hearing instead of the typical 15 minutes in Stark County Courts. We often get the backstory and, uh, you know, hear from the parents, hear from the child, uh, questioned by the hearing officer and by the teen jurors, and uh, they get the whole picture of the child, which I think helps uh, craft a disposition that will be effective. Once the teens hear from the defendants about how and why the crime took place, the jury decides on the appropriate punishment and receives approval from the hearing officer. Once the defendants complete their sentence, their records are expunged. Salapak estimates the rate of repeat offenders is only between 10 and 15 percent and said it's one of the premier programs for Stark County Courts. Judge Howard said the teen court participants tell him it's one of the most rewarding extracurricular activities they're involved in because they're participating in real cases and helping out real people. In all, these students help process around 450 cases a year. Judge Howard said that's the equivalent of hiring an additional hearing officer. For the teens, it's about giving their peers a second chance. The Ohio Supreme Court took action against four attorneys in separate disciplinary cases. Cincinnati attorney Stephen Ball's law license was suspended indefinitely for a drunk driving and disorderly conduct conviction, as well as other prior crimes and for lying to investigators. Ball has multiple alcohol-related convictions on his record, and the court is requiring him to take several steps if he wants his law license reinstated, including completing an Ohio Lawyer's Assistance Program-approved treatment plan. In a 4-3 decision, the court dis barred Cleveland attorney Mark Priatel, who was caught on camera representing a client in court just three months after his law license was suspended. The court rejected Priatel's argument that he wasn't practicing law because he didn't advocate for the client, cross-examine any witnesses, or handle any legal documents. The court sanctioned Joseph Reed of Columbus and Orlando Williams of Cincinnati in separate cases. Both received two-year suspensions with 18 months stayed if they meet specific conditions. This was Reed's fourth suspension by the court, this time for neglecting clients' cases. Williams, a former Akron municipal court judge and magistrate, was charged with professional misconduct. He had a sexual relationship with a woman whose case came before him in court, and he also misappropriated settlement money from a wrongful death lawsuit. Both have been ordered to pay restitution to former clients. That's a look at Court News Ohio's top stories. Visit courtnewsohio.gov for the latest headlines on Ohio's courts. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.